Are you a subject matter expert who struggles to speak with confidence? Are you losing career opportunities and feeling stuck because of your stage fear and nervousness during presentations? Isn't that affecting your happiness and your family's future? Welcome to the Confident Man Show with Mr. Bashal Sarkar, India's celebrity expert in practical public speaking, where he shows you how to speak with confidence, deliver rock-solid confident presentations in front of decision makers without any stage fear. Would you like to become the confident man, gain more respect, and enjoy a happy life? Then listen carefully because this is showtime. For knowing more about the upcoming practical public speaking courses and opportunities to get mentored by Mr. Bishal himself, go to bishalsarkar.com. Again, you can go to bishalsarkar.com for more information about having a conversation with our team members about your situation. Show starts now. Three, two, one, let's go. Your mindset is very powerful and your mind is a master. Hey, this is Bishal Sarkar and this is the Confident Man Show. And I am your mentor, Bishal Sarkar, creator of the Confident Speaker Conference, where we show you how to become a confident speaker so that you can reach the highest level of your career by becoming a strong leader, so that you can enjoy the time freedom with your family, your loved ones, with great self-respect and self-impact and social impact, so that you can live with happiness for the rest of your life without stress, struggle, and sacrifice. And we are talking about the power of of your mind you know one thing that I've always given a lot of attention to is my mindset because we live in a beautiful world today we live in a great place where um, you can have the opportunity to create things in your own way I mean we have the luxury of the internet we have the luxury of cars we have the luxury of great houses we have the luxury of people right we all do have those access however most people don't know how to use them properly that's why they get used to buy it you know 98 percent of people in our country are financially insecure they're living paycheck to paycheck paycheck to paycheck paycheck to paycheck they don't have the strength and power of their finance why because they don't work in their mindset first now you might think we shall have money mind how are they connected they're absolutely connected because one of the things I've learned um, is money is an idea. Money is an idea. And the reason I say that is because money is really an idea. In fact, you might think, but Pishal, if money is an idea, think about it. I have like a 20 rupee note in my pocket or a 500 rupee note in my pocket. Well, that's not money. That's a note that currently represents and symbolizes money for the time being. For example, when Mr. Narendra Modi changed the the denomination you know i think it was november 2016 when that event happened immediately those notes became obsolete very very soon right see so so, so that note is not the money that is a representation of the money money is an idea in fact um if you study about Roger Bannister, who actually broke the four-minute mile, so the story goes something like this. The Roger Bannister was one of the runners who took a, um, took a goal to run one mile uh, within four minutes, which has never been done. I think it was 1960s or somewhere, 1970s. It has never been done before at that time, and Roger Bannister took a, took a goal to do that. And <laughs> up until that point... Um, people thought that it's not physically possible. In fact, the psychologists, uh, all the fitness trainers, right? Everybody said it's not possible for a human being to endure the pain and the and to have the stamina to run one minute, uh, one mile in four minutes. But Roger Bannister one day broke that thing, broke that limitation, and he ran one mile in four minutes, and it's called the four minute mile. Now, since then. Thousands and thousands of people have, ran, uh, you know, done the running a four-minute mile. But Roger Bannister was the first person to break that milestone. And after it, it was possible. After people know, oh, 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 it's possible for a human being. Now, now it, now it was very, very easier for other people 
to do that. So I think that's the power of the mind more than the performance of a human being, whether your performance is in terms of communication or public speaking um, or performing better things for your home or performing by bringing more money to the house or performing by leading your company to a greater height or leading your country to a greater height. Whatever you do, you got to understand that you have to work on your mindset. And this is why, you know, me working with some of the best leaders of our time uh, is very, very uh, something I'm very, very grateful for because I don't just teach. I don't just coach. I don't, I don't just give information. I actually install for transformation. The word is install. In fact, when you come to the Confidence Speaker Conference, you're going to see exactly what I mean because I pretty much walk you through the confidence installation system where I pretty much install confidence in you and after which it's pretty much very, very hard for you to have stage fear ever again. And we do that in a matter of 18 minutes, one eight. And though it's a it's a great event, we 18 minutes, your, your, most of your problems are going to be gone in communication and public speaking. And after that, we spend the next two days drilling and rehearsing, making you a confident speaker. So your mindset is the foundation. You know, your mindset is very, very crucial because um, you have to give time to yourself. You know, this is one thing I talk about all the time that Look, it's easy to love other people. It's easy to love dogs. It's easy to love your family. It's easy to love your... I said dogs before your family, huh? It's easy to love dogs. It's easy to love family. It's easy to love your friends. But what about loving yourself? See, if you don't love yourself, that's because... That's because your mind is not right. You're not... You don't have the self-love. You don't value yourself enough. And if your mindset is not right, you're not going to value yourself enough. And if you don't value yourself enough, as a result, you're not going to do the work that you require to do in order to go to the next level. And as a result, you're going to always stay stuck. See, that's why many people have their career always been stagnant. They don't grow in their career. They say, think, oh my God, that person, the other person got the promotion. I did not. That's because they are not growing. So here is a small exercise I want you to do. I want you to not do this if you're in the car, if you're driving. So don't do this right now. But if you are listening to, to me right now on a phone or a laptop or a computer on your headphone, maybe you're not on your headphone, wherever you're listening to, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes for a minute. Okay, so do this exercise with me. I want you to close your eyes, literally. Don't just keep listening right now. It's going to be bullshit otherwise. You know, why are you listening if you don't want to do the exercise? Just because you love my voice? Just because you love my voice? No, let's do this exercise. So close your eyes. Ready? One, two, three. Close your eyes. Now I want you to think about your current house. The house you live in right now. Maybe you own the house. Maybe it's rented house. I want you to think about your house for a minute. Hmm. Okay, now open your eyes. Good. Now I want you to close your eyes again. Yep, close your eyes. Now I want you to think about your dream house. The house that you'd love to have one day. When you want to own this house in your best life. Think about the house. In fact, imagine you are inside that house right now. Imagine what it feels like being there. Now open your eyes. Now I want you to think about what you had for breakfast today. Think about what you had for breakfast. Think about what you had for breakfast. Got it? Thought about what you had for breakfast? Great. Now that you know what you had for breakfast, I can pretty much assure that feeling that you had 10 seconds ago about being in your dream house, that feeling is gone. That is the power of the mindset. You, I can direct your mind in different places to make you feel different ways. And you can do the same thing for yourself. And one of the things we teach you in the Confident Speaker Conference is how to use very advanced tool set and techniques to take those fear out of your mind so that it's gone in literally a few seconds. And I can show you how to do it in a permanent way. So understand that your mind is the master, your body is the follower, okay? So if you have anxiety in your body before a presentation, if you have like a little vibration in your hands, a little vibration in your, in your, in your legs and you don't know how to speak confidently, it's happening because your mind is afraid. So your mind is the master, 
the fear, mind is creating the fear, and the body is following the fear. Your mind commands your body. Remember that your mind is your universe. You know, pretty much your mind is your universe. So whatever um, your mind can conceive and believe you can achieve, as the book Think and Grow says. So, uh, but the thing is, if your mind is having that fear, fear of failure, fear of being judged, fear of making a mistake, fear of looking stupid, fear of being loved at others during the presentation or communication or when you want to ask a girl out, whatever. If your mind is having the fear, your body language is going to reveal that to other people. And your mind is your universe. So whatever you believe, that becomes your identity. And like I said, you know, money is an idea. So money is one of those things. So many times people say, hey, you know, I want to have more money, but but they feel ashamed, you know, at the same time talking about money because they think money is something that they should be ashamed about. No, money is a resource. It's a tool. Money is an idea. And you can make as much money as you want if you have the right mindset. See, a billionaire uh, is a billionaire because his mindset is of a billionaire, right? It's not just the business. It's not just the the technology is not the big office, it's not the house, it's not the city, it's his mindset. So even if he's a billionaire in USA, if he comes to India, he's going to be a billionaire. If he goes to Pakistan, he's going to be a billionaire. If he's going to go to Singapore, he's going to be a billionaire. So self-love is important and working on your mindset is important. In fact, this is something that I talk about, uh, you know, something that I discussed recently with one of, one of my mentors, uh, Matt, and we had this discussion, you know, what is confidence and what is self-love? See, let me ask you a question. Have you ever fallen in love? <laughs> I mean, literally, have you ever fallen in love with with somebody so nice that, that stole your heart and took your breath away? Have you fallen in love in the past? I know I have. You know, you remember feeling excited, waiting for the text message, passionately excited. You, you couldn't sleep properly because of them and you still were energetic. See, confidence is that feeling and feeling that for yourself, not for others. See, that is what confidence is all about. Confidence is about honoring yourself. Confidence is about valuing yourself. Confidence is about knowing your worth, knowing your value. Confidence is about communicating with connection, not with perfection. So your perception about yourself is your confidence. If you if you see yourself as an average person, guess what? Other people will see you as an average person. If you see yourself as a powerful, as a passionate, as a peaceful human being, and if you think, feel, and act that way, other people are going to see the same thing in you. Uh, people often ask me, how, how have you become so confident? Well, look, today, you, you're seeing me today. You didn't see me many years ago when I was born and brought up in a small town called Shiliguri, and growing up, I did not have much. So when I, when I studied in a Bengali medium government school, uh, in a, and I was born and brought up in a middle-class family, it was tough for me to, to make things happen. It was tough for me to materialize my dreams. And I understand that that maybe you have come from a humble background too. Maybe you have your current challenges still with you. Maybe you're listening to this right now, but you have a lot of challenges. But I want you to know that when you increase and upgrade your perception about yourself, not just thinking-wise, but it's a feeling-wise, that's why installation is very important. That's what we do. Um, at the Confidence Speaker Conference during when I when I actually show you how to overcome your stage fear and increase the confidence about yourself using the confidence installation system, you will totally become 10 times more powerful and confident with this. So I want you to imagine this for a second. I want you to, for the last time today, close your eyes. I want you to now close your eyes. And I want you to imagine that you're in your office or wherever you work, you're at your workplace, and I want you to imagine that 25 people suddenly start clapping for you by standing up, and you're looking at them, and they're cheering your name. Hey, you did good. Your presentation is awesome. You're so confident. And imagine another person, a boss or a superior leader, suddenly comes to you clapping, still they're having a smile on their face, and they say, hey, congratulations, you have been promoted to the next level. And in fact, we are giving you an extra raise you're giving we're doubling your salary you're doubling the income that you're making and imagine the gratitude that you feel the appreciation and imagine you call the family members that you love and you say hey i doubled my salary imagine how you're gonna feel now open your eyes we're gonna make that a reality if you let me mentor you 
Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to come to the Confident Speaker Conference, but I'll practically mentor you to make you a practically and powerfully confident speaker. I'm going to teach you the methods. I'm going to teach you the mindset. I'm going to teach you the tools, techniques, and strategies to take you to the next level in terms of your confidence, connection, effective speaking, because that's what it's all about. But at the same time, understand that a method is as powerful as the man's belief system. So you got to believe that you can be a confident speaker because I don't want skeptical assholes in my program. Sorry for the language, but that's the truth. I want people who believe themselves. So if you don't even believe that you can be a confident speaker, if you don't even believe that it's possible for you to become a powerful speaker, you don't belong in my world in that case. In that case, it's best you listen to other motivational speakers who, you know, just motivate you, but they don't want to tell you the truth. I want to tell you the truth. Look, lack and limitation only exist in your mind if you give them space. So you're giving the space to lacks and limitations and fears. That's why it's having. I'm going to show you how to overcome them and become powerfully confident. And in fact, this is what happened to one of the one of the members um, of our program who has graduated from our program, Nagesh. When he first came to me, he had a lot of stage fear. Today, he's like a damn good confident speaker. So I want to see you at the Confident Speaker Conference. It's happening very, very soon. You can call Rahul, uh, Mr. Rahul Saxena in our, from our team. He's going to tell you all about um, the program and, and exactly how to um, enroll for it in case we have a space. Uh, most often we run out of space because we don't have space for everybody. It's a, it's a small group of people so I can give individual attention to everybody. Hear that sound. Don't you love what I'm where I am right now? Yeah. All right. I hope you have a great time. Vishal Sarkar here, always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Congratulations for listening to today's show. If you're ready to become the confident man in your own life, go to vishalsarkar.com and apply for a conversation today. For that, go to vishalsarkar.com. All right, time for me to go. Have a confident day. Hi, I'm Deepa. I'm working as senior manager at ANZ. I think I've seen a better version of me with great confidence. And I would say that I have seen a complete transformation. I've completely got rid of the stage fear. And I'm able to connect with audience with greater perfection. I was not able to connect with audience, right? I used to get, give a presentation with natural flow, but I hardly could connect with audience. I would say that I was nervous and I was losing points when, when actually giving the presentation. And I would say that it was an average presentation or average uh, uh, talk I used to give. But now I would see, say my quality of talks have really increased because I could really connect with audience. practical in nature and it's not about just presentation right it's about complete transformation of you and really giving the basics of what it really means to become a confident speaker and it's all about connection it's a wonderful course i think if you're not joining you're missing something in your life yeah so not only vishal sarkar everyone in the team is equally talented and everyone has put an additional effort uh, trying to add value and really added value to every single participant. I would say the course was very practical and not really boring as a usual uh, public speaking course or usual confident uh, building course. It was really practical and we felt involved throughout the course and really seeing a transformation day by day. I would say that what I have not achieved for years together, I have just achieved in just three days.